He said, I am the Lord your God. He said, I will fight for you. He said, I am the man of all. I am the Lord. He says, Yahweh is my name. And then he told them, Yahweh is the one backing us up. And they are child of God. That was how they had their victories. God made sure that he has executed judgment against their enemies. God made sure he fought for them. God will fight for you. That time has come that he will bring you that victory that you deserve. Jehoshaphat went to God. He needed God to fight for him. And God fight. And God fought for him. God made sure he had victories. God told him, you don't need to raise a spear. I'll fight for you. And every of the enemies were discomfited. As Kaya went to God, he told God, please fight for us. And God fought for him. Dear child of God, they may have been mocking you. They may have ridiculed you night and day. They may have thought you have no backing. They may have thought you have no help. But I want to assure you today, you have help in God. All the help that you need, they are in God. And God is showing up for you. God is showing up to fight for you. God is showing up to change everything. You see, Samuel said, thus far, the Lord has helped us. Thus far, the Lord had brought us victory. Thus far, the Lord has shown himself. He says, eat at all as the Lord helped us. A child of God, you see the help of God, the might of God, the supernatural strength of your God is coming your way, is coming your direction, and you would rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. Every one of them, yes, they shall be burnt and destroyed, they shall be consumed because the Lord is the one backing you up, because the Lord is the one fighting for you, because it's the one who is behind you to make sure you have victories. The word of God made known that God fought against them from the heavens. Yes, God made sure they were struck. God made sure they were brought down. God made sure they did not continue. They have stood against you. But today, God is going to stand against each and every one of them. They may have warred against you, dear child of God, but he is going to war against them in Jesus' mighty name. Every single one of them, they shall be smitten in Jesus' name. Dear child of God, he said he will smite them. He will break their jaw bones. He said he will break the teeth of the wicked. They have been terrible against your life. They made you to sorrow night and day. They made your life a living hell. They made your life miserable. Dear child of God, yes, you cannot find the bearings to your life again because they had ganged up against you, because they were fighting you, because they made people to lie against you. Dear child of God, because they made people to be there to confront you night and day for the things that you did not do. And all of a sudden, you have become a shadow of yourself. You are trying to find your life, but it seems as if it is far from rich. Dear child of God today, you find your life again because the Lord who said is going to fight for you and you would worship me is going to come through for you. And it will cause you to have victories. It will cause you to have rest on every side in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The time has come for the Lord to fight for you. The time has come for the Lord to make war, to make war against them. Those who had caused you to suffer. They had been fighting you night and day. They brought pains. They had afflicted your soul, dear child of God. The Lord said, He is a man of war. The Lord said, He is a man of war. Dear child of God, the Lord said that He is a man of war and is going to fight for you. It is time you let go. It is time you take your hands off. It is time you surrender all and say, God, it is time that you take over. It is time that you fight. It is time you bring me the victory that you said I'm going to get. He told them, I am a man of war. In Exodus 15 verse 3, he said, I am a man of war. He said, I'm going to fight for you. He told them I'll be terrible against them. I'm going to bring you all the victories that you deserve. Dear child of God, the Lord's going to ensure that your life is restored back unto you. The Lord is going to make sure, dear child of God, that your life is restored back unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus, He's going to fight for you. He's going to fight your battles, dear child of God. And He will ensure that you would have the victories. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know this. With God by your side, you cannot be defeated. With God by your side, dear child of God, 
you cannot lose the fight. He said he's with you. It doesn't matter the number of people who are against you. If God is for you, no one can be against you and succeed. Because the Lord is going to make sure you'll be terrible against each and every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Moses spoke to the people. He said, this is the message the Lord has sent me to tell you. That is going to fight for you. It's going to bring victories for us. And dear child of God, the Lord did and brought victories to them. The Lord is going to fight for you. This is the message the Lord is bringing to you today. That is going to fight for you and it would ensure you have victories in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God in Zephaniah 2 verse 11 says, The Lord will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth. He said it will be terrible unto them. That time has come that they will see the terrible side of your God because they vow to cause pain, because they vow to cause you sorrow. They had vowed that they would bring afflictions upon your life. And you have been wondering, you have been waiting for that time to come, for everything to end. And so you have lost the times and strength you have. You have lost a lot of resources. Dear child of God, because of all the things that you are pursuing, they brought cases upon cases. They brought court summons to you every day. But the Lord is saying today, I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to fight for you against each and every one of them. And every single one of them will know that you have the mighty God backing you up. God needed to let Moses know who was behind him. He said, against all the gods of the Egypt, I would execute judgment. He said, I am the Lord. He said, he would judge them. We will fight for you. Make sure everything they are doing against you ends. Dear child of God, today, today, God is going to make everything come to an end. It's going to bring everything to an end that they have been doing against your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Dear child of God, this is what the Lord did. He passed through the land and made sure every of the enemies of God's people, they were all smitten down. Dear child of God, they were all smitten down, each and every one of them. Today, dear child of God, God is going to pass through and it would make sure everything will turn around. Everything will turn around for good for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And every one of them that wanted you down and destroyed. Every one of them that wanted you forgotten and gone. Every one of them that vowed that your life would be in pains, misery. Every one of them that said you'll be hopeful. Every one of them that said you will live a life of hopelessness. Dear child of God, they will be dealt with. Each and every one of them will be dealt with in the mighty name of Jesus. And never again will they stand against you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The time has come for you to testify. And you will testify of the arrest that the Lord had brought your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please hold on to God. Trust Him. He said it's going to ensure that you would have victories. He said it's going to ensure that you would have victories, dear child of God, and nothing will stop you from having the victories that you deserve. In the mighty name of Jesus, you would have rest on every side, and God is going to say to you, in the mighty name of Jesus, He had promised to fight for you. He had promised to hold on to you. He had promised to uphold you with His right hand of righteousness. And it would hold you on until you have the victories. You will celebrate victories in the mighty name of Jesus. So I say to you, congratulations, because God is going to show up. God is going to show up. God is going to show up. And it will turn everything around for the best in Jesus' mighty name. Don't give up just yet. Don't give up because you would come out the victorious one. Dear child of God, you will come out shouting the shout of victories because the Lord God of heaven has surrounded you and is surrounding you continually with a shout of deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. I call it done for you because it is settled and you would rise as the overcomer that you are in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.